In Creo Parametric, you can perform manual cabling, and one of the steps in that process is to designate your connectors and also designate the entry ports. I'm going to show you a shortcut to designating the entry ports. Here I have an assembly that I'm going to perform some cabling in. I've got a couple of 8P8C connectors also known as RJ45 connectors. If you have any CAT6 cables, you're used to those kinds of connectors. In addition to that, I've got a couple of DB25 connectors, one with sockets and one with pins in here. And so there are a lot of coordinate systems to designate if I'm doing pin-to-pin -pin routing. If I turn on my coordinate system visibility, you can see that I've got quite a lot in here that I would need to designate. Let's take a look at the standard process for doing that. I can go to the auto designate drop down and then choose designate. Then I'm going to query to the connector that I want. And I'll pick it over here. I can enter a file name to read connector parameters. I don't need to do that. So I'm just going to hit the check mark to accept the default values. And then you get the modify connector menu manager. You can choose entry ports here. And then I can say, okay, which one do I want to designate? Well, I definitely want to use entry as a general routing location. Then I can click OK, enter the internal length inside of the connector. Let's say it's a quarter inch or something. Then enter in the routing for that particular one. I can click round and that one has been designated. If I want to designate another one, I can go to entry port. Oh, let me click add modify. Then I can click it and then OK. Enter the length inside of there. This one can be zero. This one can also be round for accepting different cables. So if I had to do that for every single one of these coordinate systems in here, that would be very tedious, especially for my DB25 connectors, which have a generic entry coordinate system for routing plus 25 individual pin connectors. Let me show you the fast way of doing this. I'm just gonna choose the designate command again. I'm going to designate the connectors that I want to use. Let me turn off my coordinate system visibility. And I'm going to designate this one over here. Hit the check mark and then done out of there for designating that one. Let me then repeat that process process to designate this connector. And then I'm going to go to this last 8P8C connector. Let's designate that one over here and give it a new reference designator. I'll hit done out of here. So I've designated my four different connectors. The fast way of designating all the different entry ports is by using the cabling parameters command. And that's prompting me to select one or more components. Uh, for simplicity, I'm gonna select them out of the model tree. Then click the okay button. And here they're listed inside of here. Let's change the display for selection from components to entry ports. And now if I expand these inside of here, here you can see entry ports for all the different ones in here. So it's listing all the different coordinate systems. Let me expand this one over here. And again, we can expand entry ports. You'll notice that for all these different ones in here, the values are pretty much false except for that one that I manually designated over there. Let me expand this one over here. And again, we can go to entry ports. It's listing all the different entry ports inside of here. And then the last one over there. Again, we have all our different entry ports. The quick and easy way to do this for all the different ones is that, again, you can choose them one by one and say, okay, I want to use this one. I want this one to be true so that it is a designated entry port. Let's choose this one over here and change this to true. You can also see that I have columns where I can change the default internal length, but also you have the ability to do a multi-select. I can select all the different entry ports in here and change this from as is to true. And so that way, all these different coordinate systems are designated as entry ports. If there's one that I don't want to be designated, I can say, hey, let's change that one to false. This is one that's just used to locate the coordinates, excuse me, locate the connector in the assembly. 
let me now collapse that over here and again I can repeat the process where I can say hey let's change all these to true and they're all set that way and same thing for this one over here set this to true and also set this one over here to true you can see all the values going from false to true so that is a really quick way of designating all the different entry ports that you want and the individual ones that you don't want then you can just hit false on those and hit the apply button and that way you have a little bit of a shortcut for designating the available entry ports in your model be aware that when you are routing cables, you do have the option to allow undesignated coordinate systems for routing your wires and cables. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindchill.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button and ring the bell to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.